question that I get asked quite often in work when I'm supporting clients is about pillows. What's the best pillow for me? How often should I change my pillow? What should I be looking out for when I buy a pillow? What's the best pillow for my issue that I'm having? And it is a really important question and I'm always delighted when someone asks me because ultimately you're spending a third of your life in bed. So you want to have a supportive mattress and a supportive pillow that works for you. Um, it is an important thing to invest time and invest a little bit of research into have I got the right mattress for me? Have I got the right pillow for me? So this evening I want to talk about pillows. I've been meaning to do this video for ages, so I'm finally getting around to it. Trassa here from Natural Back Health. Let's dig in a little bit to pillows and what we should be looking out for. So the first thing I always say to people is, let's come back to what the pillow is doing for you. What is its function? And if you're lying on your side, so we'll take typical position, you're lying on your side and you want to look at where is the pillow? What's it doing for me? Basically, your pillow should be in here, supporting this gap between your ear and your shoulder. And you want to look at whether it's actually doing that job. If you have a pillow here, so if I'm lying on my side and I have a pillow here, if the pillow is too thin, what's going to happen is I'm going to be over here. If the pillow is too thick or you're losing, using loads of pillows, like two, three, four pillows, you might be too far over here. And what this is doing is creating different stresses and strains through the neck and shoulders, depending on which one it is, too low or too thin uh, or too high. What you're aiming to have is a pillow that maintains that alignment and balance in your neck with the rest of your spine. So if we look more internally with this guy, again, if you're lying on your side and your pillow is here, if you're too far over because of a thin pillow, again, you look at that stresses and strains that you're creating in here. If we come back this way and you're over this way because you have a super duper high pillow, again, different stresses and strains going on there. Okay, so you need to look very practically at your own frame, your physical frame and see what you need, what do you need? Do you need quite a thin pillow? Are you more petite person, narrow shoulders, narrow frame, or have you got quite broad shoulders? And it's gonna be different for everybody. And it's gonna be different if you have a partner, their frame might be quite different to your frame. So this one has happened lots and lots of times. Client comes back into me, oh, I went out and got a new pillow, delighted with myself really love it i got one for my partner too and they hate it it's not working for them at all they find it super uncomfortable and that may be because their frame is completely different so it's something to discuss beforehand if you're getting the same applies to a mattress you know same thing has happened and that's a much bigger investment financially you got to discuss with your partner what kind of mattress do you like what kind of mattress do i like get something that's working for you both. With your pillows, you might be buying a completely different pillow to your partner, but you gotta work with what's suiting you, what's supporting your head, what's supporting your neck, and maintaining that alignment through the neck with the rest of your spine. So that's the first one. Look very practically at your own frame. Next thing is to look at actually what position do I spend the majority of my night in? Am I lying on my side? Typically for most people, they will have a favorite side. Oh yeah, I always lie on my right side. You move around during the night, but you'll probably have a position that you spend the majority of your night in. Uh, some of you might be lying on your back. If you're lying on your back a lot, you might need a quite thin pillow. Some of you will be lying on your tummy. Realistically, long story short, lying on your tummy is not really the best position. Much preferable to lie on your side or your back. Uh, if you're lying on your tummy when you're sleeping, typically you will turn your head because you need to breathe, funnily enough, and you'll probably have the same side. So, you know, okay, I always turn my head to the left when I'm lying on my tummy. And if you again think about internally what's going on, you're always turning all of these guys to one side. 
So you're creating different stresses and strains through the muscles, tendons, ligaments. Uh, when you're doing that, give or take eight hours a night, every night. So if you're lying on your tummy, try and wean yourself off of lying on your tummy, change to lying on your side or lying on your back. So these are the first things to look out for. Look at your own physical frame, what you need for your frame, and then looking at the position that you spend most of the night in. They're the very basic things. Then you want to look at your own personal preferences. Do you like a really firm pillow? Do you like a pillow with rebound? Do you like a fluffy, fluffy pillow that's coming up around your ears? Um, what are your own personal preferences? What kind of material do you want it made from? Are you gonna go with synthetic? Are you gonna go with natural? Uh, I would personally be going with a more natural fiber. You have to think about that pillow is right up against your face, eight hours a night. And with synthetic fibers, some of those synthetic fibers can be what's called off gassing. So there's basically kind of chemicals leaching from it into the air. And obviously you have your face right up against it and you're breathing that in. And where I've seen this impact people um, more tangibly uh, is people that might have issues with sinusitis, lung issues, asthma, we have to think about our kids as well, issues for them. And when they have changed from a synthetic texture or a synthetic material pillow to a more natural fibers, um, they have found an improvement in their issues. So that's quite a tangible one. And that's really just, you know, that's anecdotal stuff from my own work and working with people that they found a preference with natural materials. I certainly, I use a natural material pillow. Um, it's natural sheep's wool. I find it comfortable. It's ticked all the boxes for me. And I also know that that off gassing isn't happening from it as well. And that's an issue with a lot of things in our home that you want to think about and throw it into the pot if it's something that you want to consider when you are purchasing. What else have we got? Um, something that I don't recommend is those contoured pillows and you know you might be using one and you find it's really comfortable. I don't recommend them because they're fixed, it's a fixed position and you're not fixed, you move around. You have a position that you're probably in for the majority of the night, but you're not in it all night. Um, and that's just that little bit that I'm not massively keen on those fixed shape pillows or contoured pillows because you are not a fixed shape, you, you move around. Um, so they're not high on my list um, of preferences. And then people are wondering about, okay, how often should I change my pillow? Now, some people talk about you should be changing it every 18 months. I'm, again, not keen on that 18 months. I mean, the environmentalist in me just feels like um, if everyone in the country was thrown out their pillow after eight, 18 months, even if it was all recyclable material, it's just a lot. It's just throwing it out every 18 months. I'm, I'm not too keen on that. Um, there are different factors as to why you're replacing it every 18 months or why they, people are saying you should replace it every 18 months. One thing with pillows is hygiene, okay? So again, you've got your face padded into it there and you've got drool, skin cells, hair cells, bacteria, all the little things, all the little things that you live with that are in your bed every night. So for a lot of people, they want to replace their pillow regularly because that's on their mind. However, something that can may maybe be a little bit of a middle ground for you is having a pillow um, protector. Um, I have loads of them and I basically, when I'm changing my sheets and take off the pillow cases, I take off the pillow protector as well and replace that each time. So you just have that little layer between you and the pillow that gets a regular wash. Some pillows, they are okay being washed. Again, it depends on the the fibers or whatever they're made of um, some pillows don't work well after a wash and it just kind of breaks them down and breaks the support that they're offering down so 
to try and get a little bit more longevity out of them having that mattress or sorry pillow protector there in terms of not having as much load of all the stuff that comes off of you and the things that can build up in the bed and just getting a little bit more longevity you know if your pillow is you think oh geez my pillow is like five or six years old okay it's time to get a new one but i wouldn't be mad on the kind of 18 months thing let's look look towards two three years and then you think okay it's time to look at a new pillow so little tips and tricks there for what to look out for when you are looking at a pillow and how to maintain your pillow and have good support and um, again also what fibers what do you want to be looking for um, when your face is right up against it and what issues that you might have going on for you and also for your kids as well you know if they have asthma or different issues like that you might want to be getting a more natural fiber pillow for them okay guys so that's a few little tips um on pillows what to be looking out for if you have any questions on this please pop them into the text below or even when on your next visit into me just let just ask me uh can you elaborate on that or whatever the issue is okay great stuff have a lovely day whenever wherever this is reaching you i hope you're doing well Thank you.